What is up guys, James here from the Ironcrafters and welcome to another cooking tutorial with James. But I'm not alone, I am with my brother, Tom. Hello. And today we will be making flapjacks. These aren't ordinary flapjacks, they are golden syrup flapjacks. Oh! Now, with these ones, you can add fruit, but in today's recipe we will we won't because we don't have any fruit. Rest in peace fruit. We'll never forget you. Let's get on with this. So, we have our bowl right here. What you're going to need to do first is preheat the oven, because we did this late last time. We need to preheat it to 180 degrees. Let's so whack that on. oven is on, as you can probably hear. Exactly. So what you need to do first, before you start any any ingredients, and I, I forgot to tell you this in the introduction. Why? Why didn't you? you need to wash your hands. Germs are everywhere. Would you like them getting in your food? No. Save other people's lives by not getting germs in their food. Kids, wash your hands. You two parents, you need to wash your hands as well. Stay cleaner! Because a cleaner world is a better world. Let's carry on the video. Hope you enjoy. What you're going to need to do now is weigh out 250 grams of porridge oats. I think these are porridge oats. Let's hope so. So you smash that in. Now what you're going to need to do is get out a saucepan a small one like this should do but we'll get the next size up just to make sure there we go. decent size right here there we go. so you're going to put that on the hob like this and then you're going to need to add 200 grams of light brown sugar Next, you'll need to add 200 grams of butter. Let's plop that in. Mm, very nice. Next, you're going to need to add about three and a half tablespoons of this golden syrup. So let's get this done with. Make sure you put the spoon over the saucepan. Second one. Second one. Three. And then the half. Put that aside. Then I'll make a small spoon, teaspoon, to just scrape off the excess. Don't waste any gold syrup. Take that away. And you're going to want to put that on a medium heat. So my assistant will now demonstrate. Medium heat. To stir this, you're going to need a wooden spoon as you needed in the last tutorial. Wooden spoon. So hopefully you went out and bought one. If you didn't. Use metal spoon, it's fine. They all work the same. So you're just going to need to mix that around a bit. Just let it all melt, get the heat, let it fill with some of the heat. And I will see you back once it's melted. So mine's almost done. As you can see, it looks more like a glop. Gloopy glop. That's what I call it. And then the gloppy glue. Gloopy glop. You're going to want to keep mixing that just till it's very bunny. Um, then after that, what you'll do is add it to the mixture. Before that, what you need to do is add in any fruit. So you can have dried fruit, which is a cross-eyed kind of thing. 
you have fresh food that doesn't move up, you know, cool. This is what mine looks like at the moment. It looks like a blue pea. So you want to keep mixing that until it all melts. And then after that, you're going to add it to the dry mixture. This is the point in which if you want to add any extra dry fruit, you can. Fresh fruit is a bit silly, isn't it? Like bananas. A bit silly, isn't it? And fresh fruit to dry mixture. Yes. You think of that. So like, like raisins, grapes, dry, uh, apricots, berries, all that kind of good stuff. Add about 100, 150 grams of it, depending on the size. Um, please make 16. No, they don't. No, they don't. Sorry, they make about 10. About 10. So. Yeah. It depends on how many you're making. Obviously, if you're making, if you want to make more than this, you double the amount that we've told you to. Triple, quadrilateral, whatever five is. So that's what you're going to do. And I will see you then. Next, you um, pour all of this green stuff. I don't know what it is. That looks nice. Bits and bits of bits Just take it all in. Try and use the spoon to get it all out. So what you want it to look like is similar to this, just gonna mix it in. Mix it up just to finish it off. And then what you're going to need to do is get a tin out. I'll give you an example of the tin we have. We're using this type of tin. You can see it's, it's a square. Well rectangle square. Rectangles would be bigger. This isn't. All the sides are the same length. Oh, wow! There you go, for some of you kids out there that don't know what a square is. Or circles. That's a circle. Circle and square, well done. It's like learning all over again. It's like math in primary school. In year one. Um, what we're going to do with this is put that down. We're going to need to pick out some of this grease proof baking, baking sheet and stuff. You're going to want to cut it and get it the right length. So I'll see you back once I've done this. One other thing to point out is, you know these, they're called scissors. They're very sharp, so you may need to get a parent or carer to help you with this part. The scissors are sharp. So now we've done that, you're going to want to get all the mixture, see this, and tip it on top. Perfectly not like that, so it doesn't flop everywhere. There you go, that's pretty good. Ah, oh, we're on a roll here. Tip that with all the mixture, come on. Come on! Now we've got this. You obviously want to smush it all down. Smushy, smushy. In every single corner, because no, it's not fair on the other corners, it don't get as much, isn't it? It's not, it's not fair. We're in a world where equality is key. We all need to be equal and be the same. It's only fair that when we're making our food, that we make everything equal and the same. So we can live in a better world. Hashtag equality is big. With my best friend. This is servant, please. Or system, sorry. The ass servants do, no, that's wrong. It's only rich people. Most rich people are idiots. So hey. Anyway, um, carrying on with this. What we're gonna do now is you're going to put this in the oven for how long should we say? How long? 
system. Yes. At least 25 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes. Because I knew that already. Because I am boss of this. This will come out amazing. I bet you ain't. It will come out amazing. We'll see you then. What's up, guys? And we are back. And we are back. And as you can see, turned out pretty well, didn't it? Didn't burn like the other ones. The best squits. But here's another video. Go check that out if you really want. It should be. I don't know. Link in the description. I'll do that. Yeah, look at it. It's quite decent. Um. Yeah, I'll cut it up. And I will show you what it looks like once it's all done, I guess. I will see you then. What is up, guys? And as you can see right here, I have finished. We've cut them all up. Um. They're not exactly the same size, but hey, it doesn't matter, does it? Flapjack, flapjack. It doesn't always work out too well. Yeah. It's pretty decent, doesn't it? When you compare it to the fisk wits, it looks better, I think. It looks a, looks a bit darker on the camera, but if I move up to here to you. Oh, it looks pretty decent, doesn't it? Yeah, it's fine. And the lighting, you know, all of it. But hey, um, if you did enjoy this video, Thumbs up would be highly appreciatable. If that's even the word. I don't know. Smash it with however you like. Head, toes, shoulders, fingers, thumbs, all that good stuff. Uh, comment below saying else you want me to do, and whether you like this video and subscribe because it's very nice to 26 subscribers. Shout out to all you guys. It's amazing. 26. That's, that's amazing. Um, Thank you very much for seeing the next video, and yeah. Bye! Whoa!